sure that that's exactly where I had it, but uh, anyway, we're back. Sorry about the interruption. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on. I for ooh, what sign is the sky? Oh, I forgot who we're. Let's just choose Jupiter. Hopefully that's right. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, uh, in the last episode, we started by doing the tournament. Uh, sorry I was interrupted, but we're back now. Um, so we beat Rex Raptor. We defeated... <laughs> we won. <laughs> and, like, Rex, like... Yeah. Oh, my dragon stone. Yeah, we beat Rex Raptor. And right now we ended the duel in the middle of a duel against my Valentine and her Harpy's pet dragon. Yeah, she actually summoned that on us, uh, as you saw last episode. Oh, luckily, we had Raigeki in hand, so uh, hopefully we'll be good from here on out. I don't know. I don't know if 1,800 attacks is going to be enough, so. But, uh, yeah. I would know we're at 2300 attack, but that might be good enough. Um, but she does have a face down, too. Hopefully, it's not Cyber Shield. Uh, she's been activated. Okay. Alright, so we'll go with. We have a Magician. Oh, we have a Dragon. Let's see what I can make here. Okay, I think I got it. So we'll make this. Then with this, then with this, just to kind of clear some cards out of our hand. So, Dragon Zombie, Kairushin, and Stone D. All right, we'll choose Mars. Uh, oh, Guardian Star, let's do this. All right, Skull Red Bird. Yeah, Maya has some pretty strong monsters here, so keep you all with Sabachu. All right, will you do the honors, my friend, the flower wolf? All right. I definitely want to save as soon as this is over, though, because I've never, uh, <laughs> I've never just kind of left my PlayStation on in the middle of the duel, so I don't know how to react. Bonkai. Sinbon Zakada Kageyoshi. The speed they normally are. You stand no chance, Ichigo Kurosaki. Alright, Stone Blizzard attack. Alright. Ooh, this duel is looking a lot better than it was in the last episode, let me tell you. I think we somehow escaped that one. Alright, and just to end it off on a good note, another Stone Dragon. Alright, we'll do Uranus. <laughs> Guardian Star. Alright, Stone Bee, attack. The Snake here. I wouldn't mind winning that card. Alright, looks like we're good. I'm gonna take a drink of water in celebration of our victory. Let's watch. Oh, wow. Stone, the Snake here looks really good in this game. The design. Cool. Still throughout the music. card and we lost some points so I would D-rank. Wow, winged dragon number two. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if that's a dragon in this game or no. Ah, I guess I lost and my harpies lost too. Oh well, I suppose I'll simply wish you luck, loser. <laughs> Alright, my. <laughs> she sounded a little salty there. You play a tough game, Yugi. Thanks, Tad. What do you want to do? I want to say please, please, please. Nice. Alright, let's see who's next. Like I said, we're just gonna keep going. 
do we lose? And eventually we will lose, trust me. There are some really, really good duelists in this tournament. Preliminary match number four. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi Moto versus Bandit Keith! And we never actually saw these two duel in the anime, so that's interesting. Ha. Long time no see, Yugi. In America. I came to bury you. In America. <laughs> I'm like a chameleon. An American chameleon. And only a real American would be here after the prize money. That's why Bandit Keith's gonna have to show you how I do with my machines. Don't you know, Dweeb? My machines are, are coated in magic-resistant armor. Your dark magician's useless in America. Get ready for a thrashing in America. All right. That's... All right, so let's check out that card we got from Mai. Uh, hmm, interesting. I don't think this will count as a dragon. If we had the other one, Winged Dragon and the Guardian of the Fortress number one, I think it would count as a dragon. So we're not going to add it. All right, guys, wish me luck. Bandit Keith is tough. And you may ask, does he have Barrel Dragon? Does he have Metal Zoa? Does he have, you know, some of the other things he had in the anime? Uh, trust me, he has that and so much more. All right, so we'll go with the Grappler. Neptune. Come on, our turn. Let's see what Bandit Keith's got. Uh oh, he's fusing. Fusion Ha! Dark Elf. Not bad. Not bad. 2,000 points. Again, bad right now, but it's still manageable. Uh, so let's see, we got a fire monster here, and not much else. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna get rid of this and this. Yeah, I didn't think it would fuse. Uh, let's try Mercury. What sign is good against Dark Bell? Oh, well, she's Mercury. What's good against Mercury? Is it uh, Earth? Uh-oh, another fusion. This should be Mystical Sand. Well, see, luckily for us, he's only using one monster, so this is still manageable. This is still a very manageable. Mm. All right, all right. Here we go, guys. It's time to summon the strongest monster in our deck. Zombie plus dragon. Dragon zombie. And what's that thunder? It's the twin-headed thunder dragon. <laughs> Go twin hit at the dragon. Lightning storm attack. Nice. We got lucky with the draws on that. Very lucky. Yeah, we could have easily, this could have easily gone south if we didn't draw a dragon there. And a thunder. Sorry, Mystical Sam, but I gotta do it to you. I gotta defeat you. Oh, lightning storm! By the way, in between episodes, since I was interrupted anyway, I did, uh, you know, basically transfer the file, make sure it was still sounding good and everything, and, uh, so far so good. So far so good. Everything sounds, you know, pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Uh, some of the angles are slightly off, but you know what? I'll take good commentary over good gameplay. Good, you know, professional-looking setup any day. The commentary has been good, and that's that's what I care about. I want to do the best I can for you guys. Okay, so it looks like we've got a fusion here. Pretty sure this will make the Queen of Leaves, and then we can give it wild germs. Queen of Leaves? Nice, nice. All right, we're doing really good here. Go with Jupiter, because I think I gave this moon, right? Yeah. Anything super effective? No, okay. We'll just attack normally. We saw Queen of Leaves get a lot of a action uh, uh, toward the end of last episode, so there we go. All right, Bandit Keith. Oh no, I'm down to 4,500 life points in America. But yeah, Bistro Butcher, pretty good card. Oh, and we got our spirit monster. Ha! You think you're the master of machines, Bandit Keith? Well, check this out. I drew my spirit card. Okay. Metal Grimon. All right, we'll put him in. Son, yeah, son. Take this. Ha! It looks like I'm the master of machines, Bandit Keith. Oh, and I did hit the camera. Did that, did that mess up the angle? Uh, let's see. Everything looks like it's still on screen. I think we're good. I think we're good. Now I'll show you who the master of machines really is, Bandit Keith. I summon Cybersaurus. What do you got? 
That's our boy. That's our boy. All right, and I think we win, right? Queen of Leaves, Petal Blizzard, and Twin Thunder Sh Lightning Storm Strike. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, did we get anything good from Keith? I wonder. What remains? It is an upgrade, believe it or not. Yeah, because if we do Wood Remains plus a plant, we'll get a uh, pumpkin. I, I, it, I can't b believe it. In America. Me, in America, the car professor. In America, the intercontinental dueling champion beaten by this kid. In America. Ah, in America. I heard you made the finals. That's great. Keep it up, Flood. What do you want to do? Hey, thanks, Tad. All right. So we'll save here once again. Uh, I think we got time for one more. So let's, uh, let's do the, the preliminary finals. Let's do it. Oh, nice music. Yeah. I am Blood. I mean, Yugi, I hear you winning. Yeah. How about you, Joey? How's it going? Eh, me, eh, well, I ain't been eliminated yet, buddy, so I'm gonna keep believing in the hot of cards. Maybe this time I will face you in the finals. I gotta get that prize money for my sister Serenity's operation. I hope so, Joey, but I don't know. <sighs> Something has alerted my, my, my Millennium senses. Eh, what's wrong, Yugi? Over there, it's shoddy. Eh? Again, Yuki. Yuki Moto. I can't really remember his voice. Oh yeah, Yaga Shamash. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm just gonna do a normal voice for him. And what are you doing here, Shadi? You looking for something? I was summoned by Yuki's Millennium Item. The fate of my Millennium Key has drawn me here. Oh, that was pretty good. What was wrong with that? The Millennium Puzzle? Ah yes, my key since its energy. That is correct. My own Millennium item is reacting as if it wants to be here, as well as my Millennium scales, they're totally out of balance, here and now. I believe that every last Millennium item is gathered here at the tournament, Yugi. You should be careful. My mission is to discover the secrets of these items and their powers. I am a god but a guardian of the Millennium items, and that is what has brought me here. All seven Millennium items are here at this tournament. Shoddy. Weird dream about the Millennium Puzzle. There was another guy, like me in the dream, but not me. Like a cooler version of me, in another world. It was a really strange dream. Ah, I see, little Yuki. That may have something to do with Yami Yuki, your doppelganger. Oh, wait, how does he know about Yami Yuki? I guess he just senses it with his Millennium Key. My, my doppelganger? You might be right, Shadi. You, have you ever thought about meeting your dark twin in the other world? My Millennium Key can take us there. Me? Me? I guess so. Eh, I mean, how's it gonna do that, Chaddy? It's not possible, right? Ah, you see, young ones, with my Millennium Key, we can use it to... <sighs> open your mind, Yugi, and take a puff of this Mary Jane. I mean, touch my Millennium Key. By delving deep into your mind, you can probably meet the other you that lies within, and all the little mysteries therein. Yami Yugi was born from the power of the Millennium Puzzle. He emerges from within you. You just have to believe the dream you had. Maybe he's trying to tell you something, something important. I think this might be the time to meet him and talk within the puzzle. You want to try it? Hmm. I, I see what you're saying, Shadi. Let's do it. I, I'll go see him if you're willing to help me. OK, 
Okay, here, touch my Millennium Key and this blunt. Open your mind. What's happening? Now close your eyes and inhale. Relax. Open your mind. <laughs> the M MJ jokes are too easy. The marijuana jokes. This, this is my mind. Far out, man. Whoa. Whoa. And you are me. It's like I was the me all along. Dude. That's it, shoddy. This is the first time I've met you. It's so strange, man. Everything's in different colors, man. See inside your mind. Don't need words. I can understand you just by facing you. Dot, dot, dot. My hair gives me super strength. Remember this little one. And leather pants. You want to return to your back to your own world. I I want to help. What do I have to do? Tell me. Take these cards, young one. They're very mysterious and powerful. Uh, a card? Seven cards? The face. The faces of them. It's blank. Wait, what is this card? Tell me. And we're back. You you alright, buddy? Everything's weird. Um, yeah, Joey, don't worry. Ah, did it work, young one? Did you meet him? Did you take a puff and open your mind? I know I sure did. Ah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I met him, Shadi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep it straight. Face. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but we only spoke briefly. <laughs> he told me he was a prince trapped in the puzzle. Uh, no, all he did was dot dot dot. A long time ago. He said he had to get back to his own world. He has to get. He asked me to help, to help him get back. You mean we got to get back? Got to get back, Samurai Jack. Watch out! But I don't know how. And you, hey, what's that you got in your hand, there, buddy? Huh? The, it's it's the blank card. He gave me this card in his mind world. It wasn't just a dream or an illusion. He told me to use it to free him, to send him back to his own world. And what, what's up, Shadi? Ah, I see, young ones. I'm afraid I do not know. But it probably has something to do with the Millennium items and the mysterious magic. Ah, six point cards. Ah, darn, I don't get it. And it's time to head back, Yook. What do you think? What do you say we think on this later? Let's do the duels first and uh, think about the Millennium Item stuff later. Ah, good idea, Joey. Maybe it's best to focus on the tournament. Match number one of the finals, Yugi versus Shadi. Ah, who could have seen that coming? Ah, Yugi. We were drawn to battle by our Millennium Items, as I have said. And the dark magic we were destined to do. Let's play for Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. All right, that was a lot of story stuff, and I, you really, 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 really want to do your best and win here. And let me tell you why, guys. Uh, the reason is not because Shadi drops some good cards or anything like that. No, no, no. The reason you really want to win here is so you don't have to go through all that story stuff again. Because, yeah, if you do lose, you will have to sit through all of that dialogue again. And that's very inconvenient. So, yeah, go out again, Shadi. Don't move back, so you can get to a safe point. Ah, we have yet to try this fusion, so again, cool music, nice. But let's try a female and a, a beast. And huzzah, Neko Gal number two. Yeah, we remember her from uh, Duel of the Roses. Summoned her a lot, quite a lot. All right, when we were using the Injection Fairy Lily starter deck. All right, so let's play the Brains card. Let's go with Mercury. 
Alright, super effective star? No. Okay. Go, Tainted Wisdom. Show him who's boss. Oh, it's Crocodilus. Yeah. Uh, 1,200 fence. Not good, but not bad. You know. <sighs> I definitely need some water after all those voices. I need, like, a lot of water. Hang on, guys. Hang on. But yeah, in, ter in terms of the actual story of the game, first of all, what in the world's going on? Second of all, what's up with uh, whatever just happened, you know? Um, so, like, it, and it's weird. It's a weird distinction between the storyline of this game and, like, how Duelist Kingdom actually went. Because the way Duelist Kingdom went at first, you know, uh, you know, uh, Yami... Little Yugi was really, really unsure of himself. Yami Yugi would just take over in the duels, and they didn't really communicate with each other. That was basically a big plot point of Duelist Kingdom, is that, uh, yeah, the Pharaoh would just kind of take over, and, um, Yugi had never been able to communicate, uh, with the spirit of the Pharaoh, um, until, you know, until they did it for the, he, he was able to call out to him, for the first time in his duel versus Pegasus, and I guess a little bit in the, his duel versus Kaiba, you know, on the uh, castle castle walls. Um, but yeah, but here, here in this game, it seems like because Yami Yuki's not taking over for the duels. I mean, if he was, we'd have a much better deck, uh, <laughs> and we'd have uh, better luck too. Uh, but uh, it's pretty obvious that that was the first time y uh, Yugi met the other Yugi, uh, and he did it with the help of Shadi using the Millennium Key. In the actual story of the anime, you know, Shadi didn't come into the storyline until Pegasus was beaten. So, yeah, kind of a different, uh, different way of going out about it, but I really like it in this game, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we'll do some direct attacks. Also, what's up with the blank cards? What's gonna happen with those? Well, stay tuned, guys, to find out. All right. Alright, not much from Shadi, good. Alright, let's try some fusions here. Let's go with this, and this, and this. Will this work? Nope. But we get uh, Spike Seed. And Twin Hit it, then Dray. Alright. Alright. Let's see Neko Gal's attack. Boo Koo. Boo Hoo. Stop crying. <laughs> yeah, but pretty crazy storyline so far. Trust me, it only gets crazier. All right, Neckle Gal, number two. Oh, he's going to turn the page on us and write a new chapter. Are you going to use Tail Whip like in a... Uh... Whoa. That was like Fury Swipes. That attack happened so quick, I wasn't even sure what happened. And she still does the flip. Nice, nice. Just like in Bills of the Roses. Welcome back to the team, Neko Gal number two. Glad to have you. All right. And he's got exactly 2100, so let's do Mystical Sand. We win. Whew. And thankfully, I won't have to repeat all of that story dialogue. I mean, unless this uh, all has been muted so far. Starboy? Not a very good card compared to what we have so far. Ah, it seems I've lost this shadow game, Yogi boy. Hmm? What do you mean, hmm? What the? My Millennium Key and my Millennium Skills. They, what's happening? Oh no. Ah, they, they, they've been drawn into the cards. How mysterious. So this is why the Millennium items were drawn to each other this day and what the blank cards do. Yugi, it seems your friend has summoned the items together in a twist of fate to absorb them into these cards. Ah, okay. So we got to find people with Millennium items and, um, yeah, use the blank cards that, uh, Prince, uh, Yami Yugi gave us. I hear you done great, Floodmon14. Keep it up. Ooh, definitely want to save. Definitely want to save here. All right. Well, guys, let me see what time we're at for this episode. Let me see.
Okay. Uh, yeah, we're actually not doing too bad on time. I think we might be able to get one more duel in, but just in case we can't, I'll go ahead and save here. All right, so let's leave the shop and continue in the tournament. Who's next? Who's next? Match number two of the finals, Yugi versus Bakura. Who could have saw that coming? We got to get the Millennium Ring, right? I'm sure he still has it. it it's all I have no intention of joining in this tournament here in America of my Millennium Ring. It's called me to battle. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hello, Yugi. It is I, Florence. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, I want your Millennium Puzzle for myself. It's high time we find out who the real Game Master is. And this is one shadow game you can't win, Yugi. Because in this game, I turned your friend's souls into the spirit of the cards. You'll have to defeat me in the shadow game to win them all back. <laughs> Otherwise, the souls are mine forever. <laughs> Alright, Yami Bakura. I mean, Florence. Let's do it. Black Dragon Jungle King and... Oh man, we got so lucky with our starting hand. Alright, Yami Bakura. Let's see what you got. Let's see if you can beat my twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Alright, alright. Let's see what else we've got here. Spellcaster. Okay. Let's just try a Spellcaster with... I don't think this will work, but... Let's clear the hand a bit. Okay, okay. We'll go with Moon. Okay, what do you have? Ooh, okay, so this isn't very good, but... Oh! What? He has Millennium Shield? You've got to be kidding me. 3,000 defense? How are we ever going to beat that thing? And we have Bad Guardian Star, too. What? What? I didn't even know Millennium Shield was in this game until just now. Oh, it looks cool though. It looks very cool. And how are we gonna beat this thing? Hmm. Yeah, because it's not like it. Well, we do have Montagna, Tony Montagna, the mountain. Uh, defense mode, please. Thank you, Dora. What's next, Yami Bakura? Ah, I'll set up another monster on the field. Dark Ill attackers Dora. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a rock and a thunder. So let's start tossing cards until we get another dragon. No way, no way, wait. We can do Ushioni. Let's do Ushioni. Yujin Ha! Ushioni. Are you super effective? Venus? No, okay. Well, oh wait, is Venus super effective against this? Oh, it is. Okay. All right, go, Yushioni. Defeat Dark Elf. Yeah, I don't know how we're getting past that 3,000 defense, bro. Yo, I did not see that coming. Hmm. I guess if nothing else, um, I can play Vile Germs next turn on, um... Twin headed thunder dragon to change its uh, sign. That might help. Special beam cannon of thunder. Good job, Ushioni. Yeah, he might be stalling us for a while, so. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so this episode might be a two parter here versus Florence. I mean, Yami Bakura. So, yeah. So right now we're Pluto. Okay, so we need to choose whatever star, other star we have, for sure. Because, like, what if he has another Millennium Shield, right? Okay. Okay, okay. So we didn't get a dragon, so let's do this. I know this won't work, but this should let us change the moon. Yes. Okay, good. All right, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. What? Oh man. Okay, well, I guess, Ushioni, you attack this. It's Gemini Elf. Okay. Oh, and we've already seen the attack, so let me hit circle here. And you can hit circle whenever you're on this menu to end the battle anytime, so that's good to know. All right. So now, yeah, now we don't take the minus, the penalty. Okay, good, good, good. Now we just need to draw a mountain. Okay, so I'm going to start tossing cards. Oh, please don't have mirror force or nothing like that. Uh, let's see. So let's start tossing cards. Okay, I'll get rid of the spellcaster. Oh, wait, this will make another Ushioni, right? So let's throw away this, this, 
Maybe I'll keep the rock, actually? Yeah, let's keep the rock, actually, in case we draw our dragon. So let's do these three. Okay, no fusions, but that's cool. Maybe he'll attack us. Uh, right, he played a trap, so I guess I have my turn. Please don't play Raigeki, I beg of you. Oh, I don't like seeing trap cards, I really don't. Ugh, hopefully he doesn't have a power-up either. No dragon, okay. No mountain. Um, let's go with... So we got a spellcaster on the field. Let's just go with Magical Ghost. No, I need to throw away more cards. Okay. We'll do this and this. Alright, wish me luck, guys. We need to draw a mountain soon. And I need to figure out what sign's good against them, too. So it's not uh, Mercury, and it's not Venus. Okay, and it's not Moon, either. That's a lot of signs, so it's gotta be something. Don't play Raigeki. Don't play Raigeki. Don't power up. Don't power up. Oh, no. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. He Guardian Stardust. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Still no dragon. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. Let's go with Nekogal. Number two. <sighs> we can do this. Part of the cards. Uh, maybe Jupiter? No, still not good enough. Okay. Well, take this. A thousand damage. Ha. Huh. Man, what is good against this thing? Maybe Uranus is? But no, it is Uranus, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, we've been through, like, every Guardian Star. What the... Don't play Regeki. Don't play Regeki. Okay, okay. Or Darkhold. Don't play that either. Okay, we got our other dragon. This is good. Actually, maybe I should keep this in my hand. I just thought of that. That's actually a very good idea. Uh, let's keep the other Twin-Headed Thunder... Oh, nice, nice. In our hand. Maybe 